A new lawsuit pits a downtown hotel against a bar and music venue that now sits in its shadow. The new Weston Hotel is suing the Nook, calling it a nuisance because of ongoing noise complaints. So far, there have been more than 50 complaints about that address since October of 2015, but only three of those resulted in a sound ordinance or music permit violation. So lots of calls, but not many substantiated. And this is just the latest example of the larger discussion brewing over how Austin's music heritage mes meshes with growing development. KXN's Kylie McGivern live outside the Nook where the live music, as we can hear, is still playing. Yes, and as the music plays, the Nook keeps a log every 30 minutes, really documenting the base levels. But even still, that was not enough for it to avoid getting sued. Now, we spoke with those in the music community who have concerns about the precedent a lawsuit like this could set. It's a David and Goliath situation. A situation as similar in theory as it is in appearance, the Weston towering over the tiny Nook. They're coming into the live music capital of the world. We're in the entertainment district. What's considered a draw, the Weston says, has become a drawback. The hotel is suing over base levels, said to make rooms virtually uninhabitable for guests, hurting the hotel's bottom line. We've had the same sound system from day one, so you know those, they need to they need to uh, do their homework before they come in. The Weston became the Nook's neighbor in 2015, three years after the outdoor amphitheater opened. The real concern would be that the Weston was successful in legal precedent in punishing this venue who was there first. Dennis O'Donnell with Austin's newly formed Music Venue Alliance has helped craft what's called an agent of change policy aimed to prevent these very situations. The agent of change principle says that the second party involved in a sound issue is responsible for mitigating the, the problem. The Weston says it's tried to the tune of more than one million dollars it's now seeking from the Nook. It takes smart policy and the city of Austin to really put its value on preserving what makes it special. Now the city put together a report in September of 2015 specifically monitoring the complaints that the Weston put in. After monitoring the sound though, the findings stated that there were very few and some incorrect materials to mitigate that low frequency sound. Now the Weston told us that they are not asking this venue to change who they are. They just want the bass lowered in the early morning hours. Back to you. Well, earlier this week, we told you about a plan from the mayor's office to extend the curfew by another hour and a half in the Red River Street District. Right now, all outside venues along Red River Street must turn the music off by 11 o'clock Thursday night and on midnight on Friday and Saturday nights. This proposal would create a pilot program to add more time. It would cut off the music at midnight on Thursday and at 1.30 a.m. on the weekend. City Council will vote on the one-year pilot program next month. And to learn more about the proposal and how it would impact the music industry in Austin, go to KXAN.com.